Hello guys, today we're going to be building a simple image gallery app with React and React Hooks. So this is going to be the final project. If I refresh this, we're going to have a single picture here that's going to change based on whichever one we click. So if we click the second one, it's going to get that picture, if we click the last one, and so on. So it's going to be a really small and simple project, which is mainly for beginners, but yeah, we're going to make that right now. So we're not going to need much HTML, we're going to need some of it. So let's start with adding HTML first and CSS, and then I'll get some images we can show. So we're going to need a container first, it's going to hold everything. Then we're going to have an image here, which is going to be this first image. I'm not going to do anything for the source now, and we're going to have... Something like that. And then we're going to have an image container, which, are, which is going to contain all these. So we have 10 pictures here at the bottom. So under the image, we're going to add another div. And right now, we're only going to place one image here. So we don't have any source right now. So let me get this. So we need to make another file that we're gonna hold like images.js. And this is just gonna be an array, an array of like 10 pictures. You guys can see, I'm gonna link you the example of this project so you guys can grab the same pictures if you want. This is just a simple array and we have I think 10 pictures. So the next thing we want to do, so let's not forget to import that here because we're going to use it. And let's also import use thing. So now let's just fix CSS for a second. So we've got something going on. So if we go to style CSS. Actually, we don't need a font, we don't have any text. Just a habit of mine, sorry. Then we're going to have a global class for all the pictures. We're going to have display block and a cursor here. So this is going to affect this picture and all of them at the bottom. Then we're going to have container. So container selected is going to be this first image or this one right here. It's going to be bigger. That's the selected class we have. Okay. Then the image container that's going to hold 10 of these smaller images here.
So padding, we're only going to have padding for the top. That's why we have 40 pixels, 0, 0, 0. This is only going to be 40 pixels top and 0 for everything else. You can also just do padding top 40 pixels instead of doing this. That's completely fine. So now these are the styles for these images right here, which we're going to have. So that's just going to be like 100 pixels. And a small margin right here. So now once we have that, we're going to need two states. Actually, I mean, if you guys want, you can set this to a state first, but we don't, we don't need to do that. It's just if you want to do it. The state we're going to need is for this image, which is going to be the selected picture. But before we do that, we want to display all of these pictures we have. So we have 10 of them inside our array, which is images here. So we can map through that inside this image container right here. So we have, uh, let's see, images of map. And then um, for each image, We just want to paste this, and again, I forgot to add the index that we need. So our image source right here is just going to be this image, which is a separate picture. So that's going to be our URL. Let's refresh this. Okay, so we have 10 pictures right here. Then the index, we're going to use it for our key. like so and then let's make the state first so we're only gonna need one state like i said that's gonna be selected image so what we can do here like if we want to display for example first second third picture doesn't matter which one we already have the images here, which is the array of 10 pictures. So we can set that here. And then we can pick the one we want. So if we want the first picture, we can just do zero. Like that. And this is the first picture, the bigger one that's showing. So for the source, we're going to select, do the selected image. If you want this picture to show at the beginning, you can just do one, do two, whichever you guys prefer. We're just going to keep it at zero right now. So we don't need to do much from this point. The difference is here we have a border on the active image. So whichever we cl click on, that's the border and also that image goes here. So to add the border, we're going to add style here. And then we can check, actually just add the border first. So our selected image is the source of the first one. And the image is each one. So if we click on the second one, that's going to be our image. If we click on the third one, that becomes our image. So we're going to check for selected image. If, it, if that's equal to an image. So this is a ternary operator instead of doing if else. So this checks if the selected image is equal to image is true here. And then this is the code we're going to have. So we're going to have a border. Also, let me make this bigger so you guys can see it. So if this is true, we're going to have a 4 pixel solid purple border because we set the border here. And then if it's not or this is else, we're just not going to add anything. So right now, the first image is selected, so we have the border on this one. And the only thing that's left that we need is the click event. So once we click on these, it's going to change the picture here. 
And that's also pretty simple to do because right now our selected image is always going to be image zero or the first image. So we can add on click event to the picture. And we're going to use this state to select a new image. So set selected images image zero at the beginning, but right now we're going to set it to the actual image we're clicking on. So we can just pass image here. So right now, this being zero and this being zero, it's going to have an active class or, I mean, we don't have a class, but just the border we added. But if we click this one, now this is selected image and that's going to get this border. That's four pixels purple. And also this selected image is just the one that's displaying right here. So it's a zero at the beginning, the first picture, but if we click the second one, we're setting it to that image we clicked on. So if we click on the third one, this image becomes third one. If we click on the fourth one, this image becomes the fourth one and so on. And that would be it for this project. It's a really small one, but um, I think it looks nice. You guys can definitely style it much better, but I think it's a good project for beginners to learn a bit more about React and React hooks. So that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Peace out.